Good morning, Sunday. I know, do you guys remember this jacket? <gasps> I know it's back because it's like 60 degrees in the morning and it's like really cold. Except it's much colder in my house than it actually is outside, so I feel like I'm gonna be warm in this. <sighs> okay, so you know how when you wake up and you're like, I have so much time, I can take my time. And then before you know it, you're 20 minutes behind. Yeah, that's what I'm having today. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna wear this shirt. And then I realized, did not have a bra on. And then it was like, then I'm like, crap, let me put my boots on. I realized I did not have pants on. Ran back and put pants on. And by pants, I mean leggings. I'm sorry, I keep looking at the time. Okay, yeah, so. Today we're going to Columbus just for a day trip to visit my brother. For those who are interested, Costco does a dozen Campbell's Cream of Mushroom for $9.99. At least that's how much it was at mine. Um, this is just, I guess, a follow-up to complaining about the price of Campbell's soups being like $1.60, $1.99 when back in the day, and I say back in the day as a person who's not that old, when they were like 50 cents. So we're losing light a little, but I wanted to share this box with you. We have the brush pad and like the cleanser again, which we've already demonstrated and showed you, but these are the brush craft brushes. They're made by Artis. This is the oval seven. This is the oval six. I mean, don't these look even more ergonomic. I mean, they're less expensive, but I think they're more ergonomic than the original. The Oval 3, which I love so much, still using it every day. Linear 1 for smoky eyes. Not even smoky eyes, but yeah, waterline and tight line, at least for me. I've seen people use this on their eyebrows, and it's usually for people who have much more eyebrow than me. This is a Circle 1 r i guess stands for round right i've never used these kind before so i don't know but kind of excited i see people use this like lip brushes a lot okay so i have literally not vlogged it is midweek now and it's like i had this long weekend and i'm like oh so much time sorry i'm like adjusting so much time to do stuff but you know what i was like i'm taking all this time for me i want all this time so I might have vlogged a teensy tiny clip and then just like shared random tiny things throughout the weekend, but no actual vlogging. Uh, so to catch you up, Saturday... I don't really remember what I did Saturday. I don't think I did anything. Sunday was Columbus. If you are in Columbus, the pho at North Market is quite good. As well as, what did I get? I got the bobun. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it that's how I pronounce it but it's like pho but like dry if that makes any sense and then there's no like poke places around me I don't think but we went to one down there called poke bop in Dublin and it was quite good so if you're there some good Asian food but no actual good like great like Chinese food places if that you know what I mean? like a proper like you know Chinese restaurant um, and then actual Monday, like actual Labor Day was glorious. The weather was like stunning. It was beautiful. Like you look outside and it was gold. Like everything was like golden light. It was so pretty. Again, did not go anywhere. <laughs> um, I did clean both my bathrooms, like, you know, deep clean and kitchen. I switched out my closets for the seasons. Okay, so. Just got out of the chiropractor. So I had been diagnosed with scoliosis when I was in grade school and I kind of just never really did anything about it. <laughs> um, because it was mild and they're like, you don't really have to do anything. We'll just pay attention to it. Or just keep an eye on it or whatever. But obviously I haven't been to a doctor for any of this. So my x-rays were something like my lower spine is like 11 degrees off the neck is off by about nine degrees so gonna be coming here like i don't know two to three times a week they're just gonna adjust and do all kinds of oh my god i got my back adjusted like it was i've never had anything adjusted before it was awesome i highly recommend it <laughs> and then after that i had an hour-long massage which was also super awesome which explains why i have like no makeup on my face like where did all my makeup go 
this was like the best group hunt ever and i kind of regret not getting the one with two massages now because i think i paid like did i pay like 18 dollars for like a consultation with like x-rays and then a massage and then like a treatment plan i mean kind of awesome right oh my god i can't <sighs> Guys, I have to go back to work now because I work like my nine to five, right? Like a normal person. And then two to three times a week, I have like a five to nine or something. Oh my God, it's such a waste of a massage. Okay, anyway, we'll talk soon. I can't even speak properly. I feel like I have no tongue. I feel so relaxed. Good morning. Okay, so we're doing the sharing of the makeup. Also the hair. I'm kind of getting sick of this length. We're down to like nipples right now, so I'm thinking, do we like this length? Like this like right above, like, you know, upper boob section. I'm kind of into this and it's like, I, and I feel like it just have more volume if it was just shorter. Let me know if you guys are kind of, I'm kind of like into that idea. Okay, so I have this necklace on. I wanted to share with you really quickly because I didn't know where else to share it. Forever 21, $8.90. So we have the Bobble Bar Amber, which we love. I've showed this to you many times. It's very ba-bam. All of these discs are mirrored. They lie pretty flat. So you get like full on, like reflect. Super beautiful. Also comes in rose gold. And then the other one I showed you guys that I really like is from Bloomingdale's. It's from their line called Aqua. And this is the Mariah necklace. This one also has a disc chain, but each of the discs has something etched into it so it doesn't reflect as much so it's a little more what's the word polished versus high shine and then it has one piece here and then it has a chain and then it has a drop it splits and you have a lariat and two really large tassels that give it really nice weight but a little unnecessary but i really like this one so the bobble bar is it's over 40, under 50. This one from Bloomingdale's is 24. Whereas this one from Forever 21, like I said, is only $8.90. I haven't seen it in store. Um, if you do see it in store, definitely grab it if you're into this vibe. Um, I'm sharing this because I feel like I've been showing those necklaces to you guys and you, a lot of you guys like them. And I know a lot of you guys have picked them up. But in case you're like, you know, Jenna, I really like them. They're really pretty. But you don't want to pay for that. Or you just, you like the look, but you're like, oh, I'm not going to wear necklaces that often this is like such a great alternative so the disc chain size is most similar probably to the bobble bar probably the same size but these don't lay flat do you know what i mean so like they're a little less like reflective and then it has you know you still have that y and a little bit of a tassel but it's a really great look for like not a lot of the price i don't know i think this is like too much happening right now i just wanted to show you guys the necklace um there you go okay so on to the makeup. No, skincare first. Okay, first of all, eye cream. The Cosmetics Optocrystal Liquid Eye Serum. Let me show you the state of my bottle. I mean, <laughs> can you tell what's gonna have to happen soon? It's called repurchasing. I love this, you guys know I love this. From my initial review and then my follow-up review maybe a month later after that. I've had this for maybe, has it been like three months have we had it for three months now i would say i'm hoping i have another month left maybe but i'm thinking i'm gonna have to repurchase before that this every so often more so at night only at night i'll switch out and use a different eye cream to see if i really really like it and it just doesn't beat this and i tend to switch out at night because during the day i like just hands down want to use this because it makes everything go on top of it look beautiful you know what i mean for those of you who have picked it up and let me know, you guys also love it. And of course you always hate recommending things that are so expensive, this is $95, but it really works. Instead of trying a whole bunch of other eye creams all the time and trying to like make things work and adding this and using that, this is kind of a one-stop shop. I am so in love with this. <sighs> because we are a makeup wearer, I have a one drop of the Seabra Eye Revive Oil also. I just kind of take it again in between my fingers and I just pat it on. I kind of pat it on, not necessarily under the eye, I pat it on more around this area because you end up putting like your corrector, your concealer and powder and whatnot, highlight might end up in this area, a little bronzer might end up in this area. This is kind of that area where a lot of makeup kind of ends up, where you might not necessarily think that there's going to be a lot of buildup. My moisturizer today is the Clarins Double Serum. It's the Hydric and Lipidic, I think that's how you pronounce it, system. 
I do not associate any product more strongly or more specifically to Clarins than the Double Serum. This is a cult product. Um, I have always considered trying it, but A, the price that kind of deterred me, and I was like, it's a serum, do I need to put a moisturizer on top of it? Because then it's, you know, I have to do more. Secondly, mineral oil was in this. And while I've only started reading ingredient lists in the past like few months, like hardcore reading them, I've always kind of glanced at them to see like which ingredients are in them. I used to just look for active ingredients, but in the past few months, I've been definitely looking at ingredients that I need to avoid, i.e. dimethicone, which this does not have, which is so awesome, which is odd because it's so ridiculously smooth you put it on your skin and your skin just feels amazing like it feels like a primer they have reformulated it and there is no mineral oil in it anymore which is what it had previously that kind of deterred me more so than the price from purchasing it it is pretty much a plant-based derived anti-aging serum um okay guys i'm trying to play cool i fucking love this this is so good i'm don't even i'm sorry for but i i've used this two days in two nights and I am so madly in love with this makeup goes on top this performs as a primer better than any other primer I've ever tried in my life like this is something that preps your skin so beautifully that you can put on like those really high coverage heavy foundations use concealer as foundation and it still looks really beautiful can you see it is so stunning I really love the delivery system, so it's a pump, which we love. On top of the pump, you have one big drop and one baby drop, and this kind of determines your dosage. I say kind of in that, you know, obviously you can do two little baby pumps. I haven't tested it out yet so far if the two baby pumps is equivalent to one big pump, but I will say this, it's about 40 to 50 degrees in the morning right now. It's about 60 to 70 during the day. Using the large pump is still too much for me during the day or during the night. Um, whereas two of the baby pumps have been working pretty well. So maybe, maybe it isn't equivalent. If I do use the large pump, I have excess. So I tend to like bring it down my neck. The first night I put this on, I put it on and I like went for my eye cream and then I went for like a, like a, like a spot, like my Mario Badescu like drying lotion and then I looked in the mirror before I was going to apply the Mario Badescu and I was like it's like my skin looked tan like it looked so even I don't know if tan is the word but it looks super even I was like did I put the glow booster on because Clarins has this radiance glow booster it's like a little tiny bottle similar to this but you just drop one to three drops is what I've kind of used to your skincare and the next morning you wake up with a tan and it's like so natural, so beautiful. It's like my favorite product for that. I've tried many products similar to that, but none none of them give me the color and the evenness that the Clarins one gives me. So I know this is very, very soon for me to review a product for you. So let's say the official review will come next week. Like the more official review, this is more of a first impressions, but you know when you just know you're gonna love something. So there's kind of like a seven day challenge slash in seven days you'll see these results kind of thing so i'll follow up with you in a week obviously in next week's vlog and then maybe we'll follow up in like another month and then at that point i generally have a very good idea of whether or not something's going to work for me or whether i'm going to continue using it um oh okay and it says double serum i just wanted to say it, it does come out kind of in two separate liquids they're together but they're separate so you definitely kind of together and then you apply it to your face so we will follow up. I know, I was trying to play it so cool in the beginning. I'm like, hi. Every time I put this on, I'm like amazed. And then when I put my makeup on top of it, I'm just like, could my skin look, can it look any better right now? I don't know. On to the actual makeup portion. I used Tarte Shape Tape in light medium as foundation today. I use, this is a newer product. This was sent to me. Um, it's the Urban Decay Naked Skin uh, Concealer in shade medium neutral. I had tried this a couple years ago when it was first released and I hated it. <laughs> I had gone back and forth with maybe two different colors and I think the way they had named the colors was like misleading because they were always too light and I would use them under my eyes and I hated it under my eyes. I do however really enjoy this on the face. I've only used it twice so I will circle back with you and let you know how I fully feel about this because 
I really didn't like it before. And I have it on as my face concealer today. I have it around my mouth, around my nose. I have like a little thing here that I've covered up. Like, I kind of like it now. So we'll circle back. For the corrector, it's the Lancome Tant Idol Ultra Wear Camouflage in the shade Peach. We've talked about this many times. I just, um, as I get lighter or when I am lighter, all of my dark areas or healing blemishes look darker because my skin is lighter so more so in the winter i need a corrector because everything is just more contrasted so i have this a little around the nose around the mouth around my mouth is where i have like the most shadow um i think a lot of women of color tend to have like these lines here where it's just it's just dark it just always is dark there are ways of lightening but it's fairly temporary unless you literally maintain that regimen of always trying to lighten that area and whatever corrector going for the corrector and then for the under eyes i have the amazing cosmetics hydrate concealer in the shade medium beige it has a bit of a peachy tone to it so it also helps cancel out any kind of darkness so like my face my under eyes also will just by default look a little darker when i get lighter so now that it is colder you will be seeing probably just only a handful of concealers under the eyes because I can handle all kinds of concealers under the eyes in the summer, but once it gets cold, like this area shows everything and only certain products look good under there. Okay, to set the face, do, you even, do we even need to show this? The Charlotte Tilbury and number two. I have it mostly in the T-zone and then I was trying out those Artiste brushes, the ones I showed you earlier in the vlog. I use the seven for powder. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. For bronzer, I have the Cover Effects in Suntan. This is a shade that I come back to all the time, or bronzer rather, maybe not shade. It is cool to neutral. It's definitely, it doesn't give any warmth at all. However, it does give a lot of dimension and shape to the face, as you can see. I don't look bronzy, but I definitely look carved out, which I guess was kind of the look we were going for today. I use the Chikohoto cheek brush because when things aren't, warm um they can look a little more muddy if you do have a warm skin tone so whenever i use bronzers that are very pigmented or very cool tone to neutral to more of a contouring shade i try to use a fluffier brush because it diffuses the product better so it doesn't look muddy on me next for highlighter i'm sure you can see it because the tarte shape tape is not a glowy finish so any kind of glow you see i think is a combination of the clarence double serum as well as you know the obvious highlighted areas are the lancome dual finish highlighter and shimmering buff i showed this to you guys in the last vlog a lot of you guys really liked it it is so beautiful i kind of want to look at the other shades now only because Oh, I don't know. Like when I look this on camera, I'm like, that is just like the most perfect, natural, beautiful color. Maybe I want to go for something slightly peach or maybe I want to go for something slightly warm. But this is so pretty. Like this is my all year round highlighter. Like I can wear this anytime. For the brows is the Black Up Matte Waterproof Brow Powder in number two. Take this with any kind of brush. I mean, any kind of smaller eye brush. And I just kind of go in like the reverse of the way my brows are growing to fill in any of the gaps, brush it through. And then I finished it off with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number six. So this was more so kind of like, you know, the front of the brow and just kind of to get that shape in really nicely. The eye makeup today is kind of new and exciting to me. First of all, this is the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Eye Color in Terra. I showed you Fig last week. And I love that, but now I think I love this more. This is like a very me shade. So I have this all over the top lid. I have this on the lower lash line as my base. And they're so creamy and they blend out so easy. You always think that they're going to crease and they never crease. It's just, it's just so amazing to me that something can be so smooth and creamy, but then not crease. I, it just, it just doesn't make any sense to me, but that is how this product works. And it's awesome. And it's like matte. So it's like even like how is it so creamy but it's also so matte. Then it also makes your eye colors like stick. And the finish looks so beautiful that when you don't apply any powder on top of it, it looks like the natural shadows or like kind of like a natural darkness or pigment to your eyelids. Like whenever I apply this without a shadow on top of it, I just kind of blend it in and smudge it in. 
it just looks really pretty. You know how like some people who like without makeup, they kind of have this um, natural eyeshadow. That's kind of how this looks and it's awesome. For the eyeliner, it is the Tom Ford. I like stopped using this for a while just to like showcase and try out other things. I still just love this. Like, look at the eyeliner. It's so black and it's, I can, I am able, but after I apply lashes, which today are the Kiss Boudoir, after I apply lashes with the Tom Ford eyeliner, I can always just kind of mimic the shape of the eyelashes so perfectly. And I'm just, whenever I stop using, it's one of those products, when you stop using it, you're like, why did I stop using this? So good. Two things I'm really excited to share with you. They're from Dose of Colors. The first one is the Baked Browns palette. I have been wanting these since their release. I just never got them because I was like, oh, I'll just wait for a sale. And then like sales came around and I never really um, picked them up. And then they were available at Ulta and I was like so excited and still didn't pick them up because I can't shop off of the Ulta website. And that's really annoying because they do 20% off. Ooh, I swatched one color twice. Ignore that. Okay, actually maybe I'll wipe it off. That way it won't be so confusing. That way I won't be so confused either. That's baked browns. How beautiful, right? And that's like the uh, eyebrow, underbrow highlight shade. So pretty, like just so gorgeous. Okay, next is the Marvelous Mobs. I really considered back and forth whether or not to get this because I was like, these colors, like this area I would use. I'm like, would these colors even remotely look good? But they totally swatch and apply differently and look different than how they look in the pan. See, take a look. Because I feel like the last three shades look like they would be really light and lack pigment, but they are in fact quite, really, really pigmented. And it's awesome. I love this. Okay, but I will say this. These are very powdery. However, when I actually get them on my lid, I don't get any fallout on my face, which is like the most important thing to me. I don't care if shadows are powdery, but I do not want it all over my face. Because that involves me being really specific about when I put on my face makeup or... Even just trying to blend away dark colors is difficult. So, I have this in the crease and the lower lash line a little bit. And then I have this on the crease and the lower lash line a little bit. I have this all over the lid. I have this shade as the eyeliner, like smudged into the top and bottom lash line. It was a joy to use this color I have as my brow bone highlight, but these are all I'm so into these So I picked these up because during Labor Day they did their like 20% off sale And it seemed like a good time to finally pick them up And that's kind of why I hesitated to get like like obviously I really wanted the baked browns like this has been like on the list for forever Sounds looks very rebellious. Okay, and then So this one I was kind of like iffy about but I'm still really happy. I picked it up I'm so much more into like these smaller eyeshadow palettes. Like I know I love my Viseart palettes and I love my Color Doing Queen of Hearts, but I kind of like these are just easier to like play with and deal with. Like if I get sent a palette, I'll review it for you. But I've been really like looking at that Huda Beauty Desert Dusk. Is that the name of it? That looks like such a palette I would so want. But then I'm like, do I really want it? Because her Rose Gold palette, I was kind of into not super into just kind of into and i'm kind of glad i didn't pick it up because the desert dusk palette looks so much more up my alley but at the same time that's going to be limited edition i don't know if i really want that either and then the natasha denona palettes like the star palette i'm really into like i'm like should i get that and then the newest one the lila I kind of want that too, but I'm like, I don't know if I A, want to spend the money on it or B, like, will I get a lot of use out of it? But then all of her like quints, those don't really appeal to me. You know what I mean? I know, life is hard. Okay, lastly is lips. I love the lip today. I have MAC Oak. This is something I bring out when it's like winter times because it just, it just like it's beautiful. You can like overline with it. It's kind of neutral, so like you don't have to worry about it changing any of the lip colors you put on top of it or competing with the lip colors you put on top of it. So on top of it, I put the shade Caramelize from Bite Beauty. I just put a little bit on the center lip and then blended it out with my finger. I think personally that's the key to like puffy, cloudy 
voluminous lips i don't know was when you tap color in because it looks the most natural and you know i just apply that as a swatch so it's looking quite you know more wet than it is but you know it's kind of settled down on the lips so pretty i love it so much okay oh i feel like i've been like out of it in this makeup sharing i like woke up at like five and then i couldn't fall back asleep so i just like laid there and now it's like i don't even know what time it is so i feel like i've been like searching for words while i was doing this whole thing so i'm sorry if it came across that way i have a lot of light coming in on this side of the room which i usually don't have so if it keeps changing on you i'm really sorry like the lighting hrh i love watching her vlogs i mean say what you want about her but she has like done it like she is a businesswoman and she has made it happen so I will never hate on anybody like that. And plus, like, a lot of the times, yeah, she gets so much hate for, like, complaining and this or that. But you know what? Sometimes I agree with her. And sometimes it's just more like... People are allowed to have thoughts, you know, I guess. I mean, everyone's different. I don't even know. Anyway. So I picked up the sunglass chain. I think mine is in Kelly. Now, these are $45. And a lot of the criticism of her jewelry, I've never bought anything from her before. A lot of the criticism is that they think it's cheap. It looks like it's going to fall apart. I'm not going to talk about her jewelry because I never bought it. But this sunglass chain, this chain is so nice. It is weighty. It's heavy. It lays really beautifully. Now, I haven't tried them on yet, so I'm kind of excited. I want to try them on with you guys. So these are the Diff Becky. I'm going to throw this on here. So she has these little things that you just put on there, and then you just tighten them up. Now, it's kind of like $45. I think this is her introductory price for sunglass chains. It sounds like ridiculously expensive, and it is expensive. So my thing is, I have looked for sunglass uh, chains for a really long time. I love sunglasses. You guys see in the vlogs, I should use sunglasses all the time. I love sunglasses. I've never found a chain that I like. And obviously, I always wanted a gold chain. I mean, look at this. Okay, that is cool. Just like that. Obviously, I would wear it like this. This also feels really sturdy, which I like. I mean, how fun. Like, this is so cute do you guys not agree i love it but it also means i can't wear hoop earrings so if i'm gonna wear hoop earrings we're not gonna wear the chain like this necessarily or maybe we could i don't know it's more like i don't think it'd be too much i just think like i don't know if they get caught in each other we'll have to find out but i love this chain let me show um i'll link it below but here's what they look like so i have the kelly which is on the bottom I'm kind of into the Harlow and the Hayworth too. Like, they're really, really pretty. Like, maybe if she does another promotion at some point, I'll pick them up. So, I had originally put in a purchase for this sunglass chain as well as the Hayes bag, that kind of iridescent bag she had. And I was like, oh my god, it gets sucked in. Because when she shows her stuff, you, like, really kind of, like, want it. And I was like, do I want this bag? So, I, like, put it in order. And then I kept thinking about it. I'm like, I'm not going to wear that bag. Like, even though that iridescent bag is so pretty and I would love looking at it, it doesn't really suit my style. <laughs> and I feel like I would, like, either never pick it up and, like, incorporate it or I would, like, force it into outfits and then feel weird. So I just emailed them and was like, can I just cancel this bag? And I know she has like this cancellation slash restocking fee that's like $25. I'm like, I didn't know how that was going to go. But all they did was cancel the bag and they didn't even charge me shipping for like this, which obviously fell under the free shipping threshold. So as far as my experience goes, like I had a really good customer service experience. So I'm about it. I am obsessed with this sunglass chain. So I removed the chain because I have a chiropractor appointment. I'm not trying to walk in like va va boom. It's like such a casual place. So I don't know how much of the treatment I shared with you guys, but it's like two to three times a week for 10 to 12 weeks. And they came up with like a really good like payment plan for me because they run your insurance. And then my copay was gonna be like $75 per visit because I have a fairly high deductible too. So their thing was 
much better per visit. So I'm kind of excited for that. I mean, payment wise. And then, so today's my first treatment. I don't know, like, I know they're gonna adjust my back again, but I don't know, are they gonna give me exercises? Like, I'm so unfamiliar with what you do, what happens when you go to a chiropractor. So there's that. What else did I wanna share with you? There were a whole bunch of Instagram accounts that got um, hacked. So I'm gonna like list one below that I follow that got hacked. It was like she had, I had seen her kind of really grow. She got to like 100K and then her account just like disappeared um, and makiyashed it up solely. She added me to a group because I didn't even really know this happens. Because you know, when your favorite account gets hacked, it's very unlikely you're gonna find out. You know what I mean? Unless you like get their notifications or you like really pay attention to this account a lot. Oh my God, I'm sorry guys. The sun is like insane. Um, so apparently she got hacked and a whole bunch of other people got hacked and the suspicion is that Some people don't like seeing other people succeed and they were reported to Instagram and their accounts got taken down or closed down I don't really know how that works, but what is like wrong with people? I just I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna listen below so they can like hopefully recoup all their followers Not that I can make a huge difference, but I'm just letting you know um hot fire makeup if you follow any of the accounts on instagram for like notifications that's literally how i find out about new product products now literally instagram tells me everything i need to know <laughs> um what else did i want to share with you oh okay so last vlog there was like tons of ice cream right and whenever i show junk food i get a lot of comments that are like either as an open comment like how does she eat so much junk food and like not gain weight or how does she basically stuff like that i have like innate portion control you can this is so weird i didn't realize i had such good portion control until i was until i started hanging out with andrew a lot and he will eat like if i have like that little pint of ice cream i have like five or six bites and i'm pretty much over it like i want something else so i don't even eat like the recommended serving of ice cream which is interesting so when i have those pint slices as much as i like those ben and jerry's pint slices i'm probably not going to get any more because when i'm about even like i don't even know if i can make it like halfway through one and i'm kind of like i don't want this anymore you know what i mean like I, I'm, I'm happy i had it because i had a craving for something sweet but it's like i'm i don't really want it anymore Now, before it's like, oh my god, Jen, that's such a good thing to have. I fall victim to like the sweet and salty thing. So after I've had those five or six bites of ice cream, I immediately want like chips. So instead of having chips all the time, I try to have like seaweed because I love seaweed. So, you know, it's like a, everyone has their thing. But the same goes for the salty stuff. After I have like five or six chips or like maybe 10 chips or whatever, I'm kind of like, okay, I'm over this. So even though I enjoy snacking, I have very small amount of serving size, whatever, okay. I feel like I'm falling into a little bit of like a, a rut. And I feel like this is happening with a lot of people who have been doing YouTube for more than a couple years. Like, what do you film now? Because a lot of people who film building who filmed beauty videos now film vlogs or they incorporate a lot of vlogs and lifestyle stuff. So what do you guys wanna see more of? Like, I have a drugstore diaries I'm gonna do. Oh, also, I think I'm gonna do a get ready with me with those Artis brushes, like the brush craft ones, the ones that are like less expensive. Because in the last get ready with me, it was like the Elite Collection, plus like a lot of, most of the makeup I used was like luxury makeup. So I feel, there was a comment that was like, oh, you know, maybe you can do one with like less expensive or drugstore products, and I totally should. That seems totally fair to like balance it out. So maybe, maybe I'll film it this weekend and it'll be up on Monday. I don't know if Monday is a good day to upload a video or Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Tell me, tell me what you want because I'll film it this weekend and I'll put it up whenever you guys think you guys would watch it, right? And just in general, like whenever you guys share that you bought a food that I mention or like makeup, like always tell me because it like, it informs me as to what you guys really want to see like oh you guys really love the food racks or oh you guys really like the makeup racks i mean i don't know i feel like everyone is kind of just pulling their audience like what do you want to see because we just want to put out what you want to see you know i know life of a, like a youtube person I guess that's like the normal stress. Okay, we have to end the vlog now because I'm at work and I need to edit and there's all kinds of stuff that needs to happen. Okay, bye.